guys, what's up? Welcome back to this tutorial of mine. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.8.3, the latest version of Minecraft as of today, April 16th. So um, if you guys have no idea what Optifine is, it just optimizes your Minecraft game. And when I install Optifine, I'm going to show you which is the best settings to have, especially if you're a YouTuber, a streamer, or even a casual Minecraft player. I'm going to show you guys what I use uh, to get more FPS in Minecraft so that I could run like what 120 FPS instead of just 30 because you guys know Minecraft's optimization is really poorly uh, coded in Java so that's why we need mods like Optifine uh, to help us out with it because I lag in Minecraft so let me show you how to install Optifine it's really easy so what I'm gonna do is I'm going back to my old ways this is how I started my YouTube channel just doing tutorials so I just want to go back and show you guys how to install Optifine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch Minecraft you have to own Minecraft in order to install Optifine um, I believe there's a weird issue if people like try to pirate Minecraft and try to install mods that way it doesn't really work so you might get yourself like an error or a black screen so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna log into Minecraft which I own and I'm going to play right here the latest version ready to play Minecraft 1.8.3 so I'm going to press play to download the jar. You have to do this. If you don't do this, you're not going to get Optifine installed. And Optifine is just great because it optimizes your Minecraft game. It just removes a lot of stuff that you don't need, like uh, some fog from the distance that Minecraft likes to render for some odd reason. And everyone uses Optifine. I'm talking about streamers, huge YouTubers. And also, it's really handy for Minecraft shaders. So if you want to use shaders, go ahead and get yourself Optifine. And uh, this is a preview version. I believe it's like 99.5% done until it's like on its full release version of Optifine. So it's uh, it's not the full version, but still it's great. So it's still going to work like Optifine. So let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. As you can see, Minecraft 1.8.3 is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quit Minecraft. Alright, so I just quit Minecraft. Now I'm going to run this. It is actually an installer. It's not just no ordinary jar that you just drag into the mods folder it's just a uh, launcher so I'm gonna double click this and here it is the Optifine installer it is Optifine HD Ultra A5 so what I'm gonna do is click install and it's gonna automatically make an Optifine folder just go ahead and press OK and there you go you have successfully installed Optifine so easy but maybe you came to this video to see how I optimize my settings so that's why I'm gonna show you how to best optimize it on how I use uh, my Minecraft when I especially when I use like mod packs and stuff this is the settings I put so by default in profile it should go to Optifine this is the modded uh, profile that you have with Optifine installed um, and there you have it it's just right there just go ahead and go to profile Optifine press play and there you have it you have Optifine installed and in previous versions you had to install Forge and then Optifine but for now you don't need that because Forge isn't up to date right now to Minecraft 1.8.3 so you can just do this with just Optifine itself so I'm going to go to single player, create a new, a new world right here. I'm going to go to creative mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower some settings and show you guys what I use to uh, run Optifine and Minecraft. So right now, I don't know how much FPS I'm getting. So I'm going to press escape, go to options, video settings, go to other and show FPS. I have 60. So this is a steady 60 FPS. I'm recording with Kemp's Tysa. Uh, so it's not really fraps or X split that I'm using. I use X split because I never get any frame drops. So right now it's 60 FPS. Let's see what I could do to raise it. So I'm going to press escape, go to options. First off, what I like to do is just lower the music. This is just my own preference right here for YouTube and go to master volume, put it at 50% because when I click on blocks and stuff, it's pretty loud. So I'm going to go to video settings. So it should be, I don't really even see my mouse. So I'm going to go to video settings. And I like to keep everything fancy and maximum, but uh, you could lower down the smooth lighting if you want to. If you lower this down, then it will increase your FPS, but I'm going to go ahead and put brightness all the way up. Uh, turn off. Let's turn off V-Sync and put it all the way up to unlimited FPS. So I just went to V-Sync all the way up to 100 or unlimited FPS. And as you can see, it's already set to 300 FPS. <laughs> no joke. That's just off one setting. If I want to get more, check this out. I'm going to go to video setting. I'm going to turn off some stuff like you could do this. Like you could go to animations and turn off all of these particles, which is huge on big mod packs. I'm talking about Super Minecraft. I have to turn all this off for Super Minecraft. So if I turn all off, I'm probably going to go up to it's still the same FPS. It's not like a mod pack. So I'm just going to turn all of this off. What it does is that it gets rid of all your particles. Like if you have like torches, it just removes the ember effect. You can go to details, 
um, and you could just turn off clouds or not really turn off clouds but everything looks to be good here I'm gonna go to other and see if there's anything else weather is on all right that looks good and quality uh, there doesn't seem to be that much oh you could turn off uh, some stuff here um, everything seems to be off and I think that's about it this is what I use it's not really that of a secret all you have to do is just really mess with the max frames and animations you just turn this all off just in case you have a huge mod pack and you let me know in the comment section below if this helped uh, also take off smooth lighting just in case like check this out if I go off then my FPS will increase like see it just went from 310 to like 300 like close to 400 right now look that's 400 FPS but it kind of makes Minecraft look wacky like the alpha version so this is why I don't really turn it off and look at how smooth this is I could press like F8 right here I think I could just go to F8 or where is the where's the cinema key uh, do we have a, ourselves a cinema key all right so it looks like I can't find the cinema key it used to be down here somewhere all right so anyways I, I used to press F8 and then it just was really smooth so I have like 400 FPS the reason why I got 400 FPS is because I turned off smooth lighting you could keep it on minimum it's not that bad looking on minimum so I'm just gonna keep it on minimum and then I could I could even lower down the graphics to fast and geez I bet it's gonna skyrocket now nope it's still the same 400 which is not that bad that's if I have it on fast but I like to have it on fancy because I like the quality and stuff you could change the render distance the lower you go uh, the better but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase it to let's just go far just regular far and that's not that bad even though it's far oh my gosh I don't know what's going on over there what the heck Did you see this what the heck is going on here so that might be an optifine bug oh that looks cool though look at this I just I'm gonna walk right into it see if I just die nope so uh, that seems to be an optifine bug and if you have that bug what you could do is you could just lower this down back to how it was around like short or normal and it'll just go away um soon this bug will be fixed when the official version of 1.8.3 optifine is released but by the time this video comes out there should be a stable version but as you can see, that's how to install up to find. It's super easy, guys. And I'll be seeing you guys in another Minecraft uh, tutorial. This was a really quick one. And also, if this didn't really work and you're still confused on how to install Optifine, I have other tutorials on how to install Optifine, but they're kind of outdated, but they still work. Just to let you know, they're just pretty old videos of mine. You can check those out, and they're still uh, really helpful. So be sure to check that out. Subscribe for even more tutorials and mod reviews. I'll see you guys in the next video of mine. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.